Hey guys, welcome back to Programming Done Right. Okay, so today what we're going to be creating is a quiz game with our beloved Java. I know we've been doing a lot of Python tutorials, so I thought we'd do consecutively some Java tutorials. And we'll move on to some other languages later. So the first thing you want to do is you want to open up Java. And if you don't already have Java installed, you can install it using NetBeans, the editor I use. Or you can use an online editor such as Replit.com. There's a lot of options. Uh, if you don't want to install it and you just want to get right to the code, I recommend replit.com uh, because we're not going to be using any imports. So you just want to create a new file. Okay, once you've done that, you just want to write, uh, you just want to name the file. I'm just going to name it quiz. Okay. And now what we're going to write is public static static void main string arcs and then we're gonna put a semi and uh, not a semicolon a curly brace sorry i misspelled string and then we're gonna press enter and we'll have two curly braces so basically whenever we have a java project you always have to have public static void main string args uh, if you are using something more complex like a class then you won't have this. If you're a beginner, just don't worry about classes and things like that. For right now, you need to have public static void main in all of your programs. Okay, now the first thing you should write is system.out.println. So this is how you like print stuff or show things on the screen. And uh, we're gonna first say, welcome to the quiz game, okay? And now you can do this a couple of ways. So now you can either do it so that like, you know, um, so that it'd be kind of like a trivia quiz, or you could do like, which type of uh, thing are you from your like favorite TV series or anything like that. Uh, I'm just gonna pick out some facts. So uh, yeah, I just have some facts pulled up. Okay, so what we want to do, but before we do that, we want to actually initialize a variable so that we can take user input because unlike some other languages in Java you have to initialize a variable to take user input and that variable is called scanner let me show you how it works scanner input equals new scanner then in parentheses system dot in and then semicolon of course again semicolon after every line you must have it unless it's ha unless you have a curly brace it's either a curly brace or a semicolon okay now what we have to write here you can see there's a little bit of a red error squiggly error we want to write import java.util.scanner okay and then semicolon and no you don't have to like install this anyway um just important that's all you have to write okay and once you've done that we can actually get to the fun part which is quizzes you know uh so okay okay so what i'm gonna ask is system dot out dot print ln when what when is star wars day okay that's my first question okay and actually, now that I think about it, we should probably just have a line of space. Okay, uh, the way you can do this, this is a really handy trick. Instead of doing another print statement, we can just write slash n in Java. Um, though I haven't done Java in a while, so I might be wrong. I think you can do this. Get away with it. Okay, what when is Star Wars Day? And then this, and now we just have, again, oh, print a line. Okay, system dot out dot o. Oh. I spelled print wrong, print ln, and then of course the semicolon. And now we want to take, uh, and now we want to take user input. Now I could just let them just talk, uh, say the date, but that's a little hard. So, and, and it's better to give them options. So it's easier for us too. So, um, actually, no, we don't really have to necessarily give them options. It's just better coding practice. Okay. So I'm just going to put on actually um yeah so we're gonna write 
May 1st. So they'll type in one if they want to do May 1st. May 4th, that's the actual date. They'll type two. And then June uh, 25th, and they'll type in three. Okay? And now all we have to write, now we have to make a variable called score. Integer, right? So it's going to be an integer variable, like one, two, three, four, five, six. Int um, score equals zero. Okay? And then by doing that, we can write if, this is an if statement. So if the thing in the parentheses is true, we're going to execute the thing inside these curly braces. So we have to uh, put a criteria. So if, uh, oh, first we have to take input, sorry. So we have to write um, int input equals input, or actually we probably shouldn't name this input. We should probably name this q1 put dot next int done okay now we can write if q1 equals equals and now we can decide so i'm going to say if q1 equals 2 right because that's the actual answer score equals score plus 1 okay because we want to add 1 to score and we can put a uh, and you could always just write instead of doing that you could just write Score plus plus, okay? That means just score equals score plus one. That's the easier way in Java to write it, okay? And then, um, yeah, okay. So now we can just ask, and then we can just ask another question. And the great thing about this is we can just literally copy and paste and then just change a lot of this, okay? So what we can do is just look at this. We can write Q2 instead, Q2. And now we're just gonna figure out like some variable and we're gonna figure out the next question, okay? So, um, yeah. Okay, so, um, okay, so now my next question is gonna be, when were CDs invented? When were CDs invented? And if you don't have like uh, any questions that you really like, just, uh, what is it? Just just have like just search some up on Google and then make some alternate answers. Okay, eighteen hundred one. I think everybody knows this one's not true. Again, um, okay, and then seventeen eighty four. Oh wait, no, that's way too late. <laughs> Nineteen eighty four. How about that? Two. Again, that's actually not right. Um, it's actually a little bit earlier in. Sorry. 1979 so if they enter three it will be correct three okay done uh and my trivia game is going to be pretty short oh sorry my trivia game is going to be pretty short so we're just going to have one more question i recommend you guys make yours a little more but for the sake of the video i'm just going to make it pretty short right so we're going to we're going to have one last one when how about when we're air jordans released okay so again we can just um now we can just all we have to do now is this here look at this um yeah so now all we have to do we can just sorry i have all my questions and answers on like a separate document so um yeah okay and i'm just gonna put the actually let's just keep this almost the same dates and just replace this one with 85, which is the correct answer, uh, 1985, and boom, uh, yeah, and now we just change this to one, okay, this should be good, let's run it and check out the file and see how it's going, okay, so this quiz game is coming along pretty nicely, and again, I recommend that you guys make this way cooler, way more advanced, mine is pretty bad, honestly, oh, okay, wait, we made a small mistake, so you know how I did a slash n here? It's actually supposed to be the not uh, the different slash, this one, not this one, but this one. And that gives it an extra line space. It's pretty cool in my opinion. Let's just check it out again. See, look, we have a line of space. And that's a cool thing about Java, little trick. Okay, so now all we have to write is, when was Star Wars Day? Oh, okay, so two, one, and one okay we see that 
It works, except it doesn't say anything, how much we got right or anything. So now we just have to write system that out print ln you got and then plus score right because we want to um print the score you got this many um questions correct okay and then uh if you really want to do something like this something that you could do is this is a pretty cool thing that i like to say so if you if you we can say if score is greater than or equals to greater than or equals to that's why it has that two then we're gonna print so now we're gonna say we can copy this and then we're gonna say you passed you got this many questions correct okay and now we can say or actually else, right? So if this is not true, then the score has to be lower, right? So then we can say you failed, okay? You, you got correct, okay? So yeah, we want to be all sad if they failed, okay? And we can even put a, can even put that, whatever. <laughs> okay, yeah, so, now when we run it, it should be good. Let's try it out. One is Star Wars Day. Uh, two, of course. Uh, when were CDs invented? I'm just gonna say one just to get one wrong. And then one. You passed, you got two questions correct. And I did get two questions correct, so that means my trivia is good, even though I made up all the questions. So <laughs> I don't know if that's the best trivia. Anyways, you guys should make this pretty nice. Uh, attach a link below in the description uh, not description, in the comments, so I can see, like, a replit or whatever, and I can just see which one I, uh, I'll feature the one in my next video that I think, uh, was the best and most intricate, so yeah, share this with your friends and family, and let's see if they know as much trivia as you. That's it for today. Bye. Out programming done right.